I'm going to show you how I take my polymer clay fairy wings and turn them into something completely different, which is a story that's animated in digital format. So after I make my wings, and here I'm showing you that I'm taking my translucent clay, rolling on a silicone stamp, and pressing really, really hard before I paint it with my alcohol inks in blue tones and silver with some mica shift powder. What I'm gonna do with it afterwards is really cool. So here's the finished product of the actual real life fairy wing. And it's probably about three inches in total. And there's two of them. And what I did was I transformed it into this little tiny short story called A Fairy's Solitude. She's sitting by a lake, looking over, waiting for her long lost love. And there she has her wings, the same wings you just saw that were sitting on my table. And I've made them a little bit translucent. So how did I do it? First of all, I use a program called Canva. I go into my photos and I pick a picture after I have found the one I want, I'll upload it to that program called Canva. So it's there for my using. Or if I want to, I can get the photo afterwards. So what I'll do is I will first start out with thinking about my scene and what I want it to look like. And what do I want? In this case, I wanted to have an animated movie that was for, say, for your phone. So I went in and I looked at some templates and I really liked this teal smoky background. So that's the one I chose. It animates it for you. So the hard work is really done. I knew that I wanted those tones to be the backdrop. I had some recent uh, clips that I had found, the butterfly and the snail. We're not gonna show that in this video, but I wanted you to really at least know that like it kind of saves your past things. So I had wanted to get a photo, a nice scene of a cottage core, and this is a girl sitting on a picnic. But as you can see, there's no wings. And I wanted it to be a fairy because I'm going to add my wings. I thought she had a wonderful look. She's looking up at the sky. So this is where the fun comes in. I take my picture of my wing that I took a picture of after it was done, and I import it into the program. I use something called background remover and I shrunk it down to be the right scale and then I placed it on her. But I really thought that they were a little bit too opaque. So the next thing I'll do is use what's called transparency and you can literally take and make them fainter. But I decided just to use one of them. So what I used is a cutting tool and I clipped them first and then I flipped one of them around using the flip method that it's just a little button in Canva that you just go boop and it just flips it and then you can flip it around and place it where you want it. So now she's got two identical wings. Once I get them placed properly on her back where I can imagine that the wings would appear if she was a true fairy, I will then go in and use that transparency tool. And then what will happen is it'll just have this like look that you can barely see. And it looks like it's just like sort of like the wings can fade out uh, as if a butterfly you could see through their wings. And it's just, just a really ethereal look. And people be like completely amazed when they see it. And it looks like you did something completely magical. So I wanted to just share this little tip and trick with you because I find it really helpful when I'm making my own stories. I just wanted to say thank you. Lily thanks you. Have a great day, everyone.